Well, imagine taking your dog out for a walk on your usual trail in Lansing, only to discover that someone has set up shop to hunt deer. Shamir Owens spoke with the man who made the discovery and shares what he says he could not keep quiet about it. Sherry, the man says when he came across deer feed, a hunting blind, and a space heater near Graves Park, with a playground just a few feet away, he had to warn others. More so it's annoying. I want my dog to get shot, and I don't want to get shot. It's something Brandon McGann started worrying about after he came across a setup to lure deer at a park just a few feet away from his home. I was coming down the trail. The trail's right, right there. Mm -hmm. And I looked over, and I could see the blind a little bit. And I was like, that's odd. And I know you're not supposed to be hunting back here. McGann says he was walking his dog when the dog ran off, leading him to this big pile of deer feed. And here in Michigan, baiting deer is illegal in the Lower Peninsula. Anyone that hunts, they know how many rules you have to follow and how responsible you have to be, and this just goes against all of that. After making this discovery, McCann says he knew he had to warn his neighbors, especially since kids play in the park right off the trail. I looked on Google Maps. It's less than, it's, it's like 50 yards directly from this pinpoint over there is the, is the kids' playground. And there's a basketball court right there. A lot of people that walk back here, kids walk back here. Um, and it's just plain wrong. So McGann took a few photos and a video, put them on the next door app, hoping to make others aware and maybe even scare the hunter off. He also made a call to the DNR. They came out today and took the trail camera the hunter had set up. But when he and I went back to the area, he took his, his blind, he took his heater. That was all here an hour and a half, two hours ago. The guy figured it out, so he's probably not going to be back out here anytime soon. Um, DNR said they're going to be watching this. They're going to be coming out here and checking this site now. Um, so hopefully the guy's gone and we can come back through the trails and the park and not have to worry about anything. McGann says he hopes people will think twice before putting the lives of others in danger and that he feels better knowing the state will be keeping an eye out.